Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Guys, this is your quick tip of the week. So this cup drain here is leaking through the putty. I have done this install, uh, this was two years ago. Now if we look at the very front here, you can see the pipe looks relatively straight, but the cup drain is canted on an angle. I don't know if that's the issue here, but last time I did this, I installed the cup drain first and then I repiped the drain to eliminate the stress but the same problem is it's leaking on this side here now guys whether you put a stopper in or not if it's leaking through the putty as soon as you have water going down it's going to start leaking which I'll show you really quickly right now alright so I'll turn the faucet on and you'll see on the back side over here or it's leaking so it's leaking up here. Same thing as last time. So what we'll do now is material and tools. For material and tools, I have putty, latex gloves, big set of channel lock pliers, and a pot or a pan. That's optional if you want to use it. It may leak if you want to take off the drain. If you don't, you probably don't need it. But it's here, so let's get started. All right, so for this specific design, this has a big ring here that sucks the cup drain down. Uh, this is also known as a basket strainer. So we have enough for the slip adapter. I'm just going to undo that. And now the big washer up top. And if it starts turning like it is right now, just hold it in place. And one thing as well, make sure that you're not grabbing on these threads because if you mangle the threads, you may not be able to reuse the cup drain. All right, so the cup drain can now be removed. And the exact same thing as last time. It's right here for whatever reason, but uh, clear out the putty. So this all has to get clear, uh, cleaned off too, and then I'm just going to re-putty it. So this here, make sure that it's clean, and also make sure that there's no damage to anything, which there isn't, everything looks good. Okay, so take some putty. And then roll it up. It doesn't need to be thick. There is a such thing as being too thick because if it's too thick and you have a big gap, the putty will want to wash out. If you don't have enough, you're just going to have a leak. So what I like to do is push it on to compress it down a little bit and make sure that it's nice and tight. So just need to add a little bit there. All right, so we'll put it back in. So if there's a symbol, make sure that the symbol's there at the top or the bottom. You don't want to cut it off to the side. Now, one thing that I do notice is that it's being pushed over to the left, so it should be roughly centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the drain down at the bottom to recenter uh, the cup drain here. All right, so the carburetor can be spun. And I think that is more than enough. 
So what might have happened is this carburetor, it might have been hit and it got twisted and that's what uh, offset the cup drain a little bit. I don't know. But even now, you can see that the cup drain doesn't sit straight. So the cup drain kind of sits like that for whatever reason. But I'm going to check up top to make sure that it looks centered, which it does. And now this ring here can be tightened back up. Now because there is no symbol, it doesn't matter where you spin this, but if there is a symbol, then you want to offset slightly because the cup drain will want to turn with the ring when you're tightening it up. Okay, so hold the drain in the sink with one hand and then tighten down the ring with the other hand. So with this nut tightened down, the slip adapter nut just needs to be tightened. One thing, when you're tightening this down, don't be too aggressive because you may break it because it's old and water destroys everything. Okay, now we'll fill up and test. As long as we have no leaks, we'll be done. All right, so we'll pop the drain, we'll test. Everything looks good. I would say do a bigger volume of water that I just did, but I've already tested this. This is just meant to uh, compress the time. But everything looks good, and the last thing to do is just make sure you wipe this out. A little bit will squeeze out later on, but that's fine. And then you will have fixed a leaking cup drain on a kitchen sink. Guys, that is your quick tip of the week.